Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about hand rashes in children. Well, that's kind of like talking about rashes in children. There's a lot of rashes that can be on a child's hand. But let's talk about the most common ones. Probably the most common hand rash you're going to see on children is eczema. That's a result of dry skin and to some extent also of allergies. You see that especially badly in the winter time when children are in and out of doors, when there's cold air blowing, the air is dry, they may be washing their hands frequently because they also have a cold. And you'll see that especially around the knuckles. The knuckles may get cracked and red. You want to moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Don't be afraid to use something really thick like Vaseline, petrolatum jelly. You can also use Eucerin, Aquaphor, or Cetaphil. Whatever you use ought to come out of a pot with a screw top. If it's a thin lotion, it's probably not going to stay on long enough. Now, at nighttime, you can put that on and then you can put gloves on over the lotion to keep it on there and help the skin heal overnight. You can also talk to your doctor about some prescription lotions or creams that you may want to use as well. Now, other things on the hands. I think about scabies. Scabies are a mite. They're a little parasite. And they crawl into the skin. They love the space between the fingers. So if you see that a child's got little red bumps or streaks between the fingers and they itch like all get out, that could be scabies. That'll respond to anti-scabies medication. You'll want to cover the hot child's whole body and probably everybody else's in the family to get those scabies to die. Because if they're still alive, everybody's going to be getting that rash again. It may take up to a couple of weeks to know that your treatment has been successful. The other thing I think about is poison ivy, contact dermatitis. Could be poison oak, poison sumac. But in that case, you'll see little streaks of red bumps often or patches. They may spread over a period of three or four days, and they could take two or three weeks to go away. Steroids like topical hydrocortisone will help, and when it's really severe, your doctor may want to prescribe a prescription steroid. Most importantly, if you think a rash does not look obvious in terms of what it is, get a doctor's help figuring it out. I know for us sometimes it can be a real challenge to figure out what a rash is, even when we've seen thousands of them. So don't be afraid to take your child in and get somebody who knows what they're looking at to look at that rash and help you out. Talking about rashes on children's hands, I'm Dr. David Hill.